Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this one we are making a champion select screen where you can pick your champion, lock in and be transferred to the world with the correct champion. Now I've set up some defaults here, um, definitely not stolen these here, but uh, yeah, so let's, uh, I think I set up Ari and Kale. Let's uh, go into Kale for example, hit lock in. It's going to count down until it reaches zero. And then we're going to get transferred to the world. This is uh, obviously Kale, right? This uh, this is how Kale looks in, in League of Legends. Anyway, if we go out and we pick Ari. If the, the other ones are like technically there, like if I go into Annie now, it's going to be the third person mannequin, but Annie is technically there, but uh, just haven't added a skin for Annie, right? So the champions get spawned in, and uh, the timer goes down, and it shows on the left side, and yeah, that's pretty much all we're gonna do, though. So, so yeah, let's uh, let's go. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new level, and this is gonna be an empty level. I'm gonna save that into a new folder. I'm gonna call it Levels. This is going to be our uh, champion select level. And then I'm going to set up some a new folder. I'm going to call this one champion select. And inside of here, we're going to have a HUD. It's going to be the champion select HUD. And then a game mode, so we can put that in something. So champion select game mode this is just so that we can go into project settings maps and modes and then uh, select the main where is it champion select level then also have a uh, yeah actually we'll, we're gonna leave the default one here but on the if you open up window and then open up world settings on the game mode override we're gonna override it to be our champion select game mode with our champion select HUD. Inside our champion select, uh, I'm gonna make it a folder, I'm gonna close my base, and then we're gonna move those in there, and I'm gonna make a new widget blueprint, WBP HUD. Let's open up our HUD base, and then add this to it. We can go out from our main HUD class, and then go back into our HUD, uh, WBP hat. Let's add a canvas to that. And then we need to start populating some stuff. So let's make a let's make a text first of all. Put that in there. This is gonna be our choose your uh, this is gonna be our header header text. Slice that to content. I'm gonna put in choose your champion to be the first that it says, and then I'm gonna set the font to like 80. I'm gonna dock that. Let's head into our content drawer and into our top-down folder. And here we have our top-down character. Now I'm gonna duplicate this one. This one is gonna be our master champion. I'm gonna move him into the content drawer, into the content folder. I'm gonna make a new structure. It's gonna be the champion details. And champion details is just gonna have two things. It's gonna have a name. And it's going to have an icon. So, texture 2D. And then let's also add that to the master champion. So, champion details. And then uh, champion details are struct. I'm going to set that to be editable. Actually, do I need that? No, I don't think I need that. Now, I'm gonna make it a folder. This one is gonna be base. No, this one is not gonna be base. It's gonna be champions. I'm gonna right click master champion, create a child. I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do Annie. I'm gonna do Seraph. I'm gonna do Kale. I'm gonna do Graves. I'm gonna do Ari. And finally, I'm gonna do Shivana. Let's go into there. I'm gonna make a new folder as well called images and I'm gonna import my icons over here. I'll be right back. 
Okay, so now we got our icons. We can go into our champions. I'm gonna go into we're gonna go into each one of them. And then in our champion details, set the info accordingly. Kel, Shivana, no, I don't have that saved like that. I have it like this. And then finally Sarath. close out of these let's uh, start building that so I'm gonna go into our did we make a interface where did we put our HUD at what the crap put it in jump is like where I wanted to keep everything so let's just do that and this is why I also do the colors so that I know where I actually have everything. I do not need to move that champion select though, so let's go like that. Make a folder, structs and enums. Champion details goes into that. Make a folder, interface. Hard goes into that. And then let's go into that interface. Now let's make a new blueprint. Which is blueprint? There's going to be a WBP champion select. Open that up. Our champion select will only have one thing. It's going to be a wrap box. And we're going to make that variable. And it's going to be a champion select entry wrap box. It's going to be the side on screen. Set into the graph on that. Make it a variable. It's going to be champion list. Of type master champion class reference. It's going to be an array. File and save, and now you can add your champions to that list. So Ari, Annie, Graves, uh, Kale, Shivana, and finally Sarath. I'm also going to set up a hard ref. Do I need that here? I do not. Yes, I do. Okay, so let's set up a hard ref. WBP hard. Uh, not an array. There we go. Remove all of these. Make it a custom event. This is going to be generate champion select entries. And we're simply going to do a for each loop. Out from our array. On each of these we want to create widget. Now we don't have that widget set up yet. So let's do that right away. User interface widget blueprint. This is going to be our WBP champion select entry open that up we're going to have a vertical box inside this vertical box we are going to have a size box this size box we are going to put to center at the side on screen by the way and we're going to override it by 128 128 then we're going to add a button to us uh, to our size box this button is going to be called champion select button Inside that button, you're going to add an image. Add that to it all. This is going to be our champion icon. Go to your button. Go to your style. Set the normal padding and everything to zero. On the uh, normal, set that to be none instead of random box. And then on our icon, we can now expand that out. Like so. Then let's add a text to our vertical box. This text is going to be our champion name text. It's going to be variable. I'm going to do uh, Hecarim for default and then center that. Now let's head into our graph for a second. On our construct, we're going to get our champion name text. We're going to set text. Also, we need to add some variables. Sorry. So champion of type master champion. Get the defaults from our master champion, split that open, and now we got our name. Get our icon, uh, set brush from texture on that. Brush is our icon. Well, instead, go back to your champion's left, and you can select that to be actually, let's add a hard ref first. So, hard ref, expose that, type WBP HUD. Now we can add our champion's left entry. Hadref is the Hadref from our champ select and the element 
is going into the champion, which we haven't exposed. Sorry about that. There we go. And the element goes into there like so. And then finally, we can add that to our wrap box. Go to our HUD. Now we can add our champion select. That's what's going on. I'm going to put it in meadow. Nothing actually happens and because we haven't actually initiated anything. So go into your HUD graph. On the champion select, let's set HUD ref. To be ourselves. And then let's generate champion select entries. And now we got our champions showing. Awesome. Let's add the left portion where we can see if we have selected anything. That's going to be a widget as well. It's going to be WBP champion select summoner. It's going to have a horizontal box. Inside a horizontal, it's going to have a image. The side on screen. The image, do I have that here? Hang on, I'll be right back. Yeah, so I just added the random image, this one. I'm gonna move that down to be like maybe 128 by 128 as well. Actually, maybe that should be a little bit bigger. 192 by 192. This is gonna be our selected champion image. We're gonna add a vertical box to our horizontal box. Inside that, I'm gonna add a text variable it's gonna be our picking text default to picking dot 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 should we put that in the middle no should we put that in the middle yeah let's put it in the middle that's fine picking and then duplicate that control d and it's gonna be a champion name text and i'm gonna default that to be like hacker as well actually Actually, let's default that to be uh, nothing. Go into our graph. And the only thing that we're going to do here is we're going to add a HUD ref. I do not know if we need a HUD ref, though. I don't know. I don't, actually don't think we need a HUD ref, but might as well have it. Over on our HUD now, we can get our champion select summoner. We can size that to content. I'm going to dock that in the middle left. I'm going to give it my... Hard ref, even though I do not think we are going to use it. When I play, that's going to give us our picking uh, on our left side. Let us uh, add so that we can actually, yeah, our left click needs to be sorted as well. So over on our construct, let's uh, get player controller, set input mode, game and UI, do not hide it during capture and then let's also set show mouse cursor to be true just so we can see everything we're doing now let's make it so that when we select this it actually goes over there so did we set up a uh, no we didn't so let's make a new uh, this one's going into our content drawer just in our content folder blueprint class it's gonna be a game instance I'm going to call this one League Game Instance. It's going to have one variable. It's going to be Selected Champion of type Master Champion class. File and save. And we also need to set that in our project defaults, in our project settings. Sorry. There we go. League Game Instance. Let's go to our Champion Select Entry. And we have constructed this. This is done. I do not need to comment this out, surely. I'm trying to get better at things like commenting and stuff, but okay, let's uh, let's actually comment things out when we're done. So, uh, set the name and icon accordingly. I don't know, bad comment. I mean, it says it right here, but I need to get better at it. So, let's do it. Now, let's uh, the on champion select button, on click the event. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna get our champion, we're gonna get our HUD ref. Uh, does 
Our HUD, no, our HUD doesn't have selected champion. So, selected champion inside of our HUD. Master champion. Set selected champion on our HUD. And then let's also make a new function over on our HUD ref. This function is going to be called update. And let's also add a new variable. We're going to do a locked in. So have you already le locked yourself in first? We're going to do a branch out of that. Out from false, we're going to do our champion select summoner. We're going to get selected champion image. We're going to get selected champion name text. Let's do the text first. So set text. Out from false. Try to keep this clean for once. Champion name text is coming from the selected champion on our HUD. Break that, then you got your name. Then we can set brush from texture on, on the image. Like so. If we are locked in, we're going to worry about that in a moment. Back in our champion select entry, you now get your hard ref and you can call your update. To play. Now we are picking the uh, the champions. Awesome. Let's make a lock lock in button. So let's head over into our HUD. Actually, not into our HUD. Sorry, into our champion select interface, user interface, widget blueprint. It's going to be WBP lock-in. On lock-in, we're going to have a border and then another border. Going to be this side on screen of that. Two padding and all. The fur. Going to add a button inside of a border. It's going to be our lock-in button. We got our lock-in button. Let's add a text to that button. It's going to be our lock-in text. Going to do regular on that center regular um let's do 55 and i'm gonna change the color down to like a grayish maybe should i maybe yeah and lock in is gonna be the default on our locking button let's construct and get ourselves a reference so cast to uh, what do we call it? League game instance? Yeah. Object is our game instance, of course. Promote that to game instance ref. Once we click our lock in button, we're going to check if our HUD ref. So we need a HUD ref for this. Because we don't want to lock in if we don't have anything selected. So let's go over to our HUD and actually set this up. So lock in. So I start the content. I'm going to put that in the bottom. And on our construct events up here, on our lock-in, we can now, no, not locked in, sorry. On our WBP lock-in, we can set hard ref to be our hard ref or ourselves. Now we can go back to our lock-in. We can check if our selected champion is valid. Do we have something selected? If we have something selected, we're going to get our game instance ref. We're going to set selected champion, be that of the HUD ref's select champion. We're going to get HUD ref. We're going to set locked in. To be true, we're going to set, uh, set, set picking. Do we have that here? No, we have set, uh, get champion select summoner there we go then we can set picking text get picking text sorry get picking text and then finally set text from that i'm gonna do picked then we can get our hard ref again we can update and then finally we're gonna remove uh, should we remove ourselves from parent? Maybe. 
Let's see. Mm, checks if Hudref has a valid selected champion. Have we clicked one? If so, pass along the info to game instance to the game instance. Set locked in to true. Update HUD and remove ourselves from current. So that's our login. If we now hit play, we got a picked Shivana and we can no longer click our click the other ones. Let's go to our champion select entries. Let's make a new custom event. I'm gonna call this one locked. And on locked, I'm simply gonna set is enabled to be false on our buttons and then i'm also gonna set color and opacity of our button to be like a gray so now that when we lock you actually need to call that though so over on our da -da -da -da, update on true what we're going to do is we're going to get all widgets of class top level only needs to be checked off we're going to get all of our entries. We're going to do a for each loop out of that. Then we're going to call our locked event that we just made. So that when we lock this, it's going to like, you know, they are not, they are not accessible anymore. Let's uh, go into our HUD. I don't, yeah. Uh, let's go into our HUD and down here, let's make a new custom event in our side of our HUD. It's going to be called Countdown. Side of Countdown, we're going to add a new integer. It's going to be our Countdown Timer. I'm going to put that to be 5. I'm going to do a greater or equal than, no, greater, greater than or equal to 0. If that is false, then we're going to move levels. But if that's true, then we're going to get our header text, get a set text. And the text that we're going to set it to is a format text. We're going to do match begins in. Here are the brackets, num for number. Match begins in the countdown timer. Then we want to do a delay of one second, get our countdown timer, decrement that in, take away one from it, set our timer to the outcome of that, and then go back into our countdown again. So we lock in, we update, out from complete after our for each leap, after we have locked everything, we're going to call our countdown event. And it starts counting down. Now we reach zero, nothing actually happens. So if we are not though, if the countdown is over, I'm gonna make a new, uh, I'm gonna make a new map. No, I'm not gonna make a new map. I'm gonna use the top down default. So uh, this one, top down map, I'm gonna use that. Or run our HUD, we can now simply open level by name. And it's going to be top down map. So now if we lock in, wait for the timer to go down, it's going to transfer us. Hopefully, there we go. And we can move around. Now, this isn't actually Annie or the champion that you picked. Uh, this is simply the, the, um, the top down character. And how are we going to fix that problem? Well, we are going to uh, remember I said that we were using different game modes and such, and we also set up a game instance. Now, game instances you use to transfer things between levels and stuff. It's never actually lost. So what we're going to do is when we open up our map, so it's going to be our top down map. Save that on our world settings. Now we can see what we are actually using. We're using the top down controller. On start we're not using that until now and what we're going to do here is we're going to do it on begin play we 
going to cast to league game instance get game instance i'm gonna promote that because we might want it later game instance ref i'm going to get the player character and i'm going to destroy that actor we're not destroying the controller we're destroying the actor the the top down character once that is done we're going to get our game instance we're going to get selected champion and you know what we're going to do we're going to spawn actor from class i'm going to spawn that in on uh, where where this one is so it's uh 1810 i don't think i can copy this oh it did somewhat work but yeah 1000 1810 and let's do 93 that's going to spawn in our selected champion now we can test that nothing actually works it is over there nothing actually works and that's because we also need to assess this one let's do a test of that i'm, I'm disconnecting it I'm going back into our ch champion select map heading flight picking annie Locking that in. And we're not there. If I now possess him, the one that we uh, spawn in, picking Sarah this time. Now we got Sarah here. Now he doesn't look like Sarah, so let's import some uh, skeleton meshes and I'll be right back. Okay, I've in, imported some Paragon. Uh, skins. I did not import uh, for all of these, so let's be a little bit selective. Now I'm going to go into my champions, and uh, I'm just going to do Ari, Annie. Yeah, I'm just going to do Ari from the start. We just need to select a skeleton mesh for Ari, so I'm going to do the Severog, maybe? Then we also need Sev Blueprint for the animation. To open up uh, Kale, so Ari Kale. Yeah, let's just do Ari and Kale because uh, I don't think I have enough. Norbash. There we go. Ari and Kale have been selected. That would be a good idea to go into the full blueprint so you can actually see how this looks. And that's pretty much how it's gonna look. So Ari and Kale. Let's go into our champ select. Hit play. I'm gonna go for Ari. That's not Ari. That's fucking Sarath. Yeah. Something's uh, something's a bit wonky. But anyway, there he is. There's our... Well, definitely not Ari, but... You know what I mean? So when I pick Kale, lock in, wait for it to begin. And there's our Kale. Yeah. That's pretty much uh, all we're going to do today. Um, I don't know if I'm going to continue the series or anything, but this is how you would set up a champion pool and uh, being able to select your and pick your champion at least. If you found this helpful, please let me know in the comments below. And I promise I'm going to be better at, uh, get better at commenting out and trying to explain things. It's uh, this uh, teaching thing is does not come like second nature to me at all. But uh, if you just want to see how it's done, then... <laughs> Awesome. If you want to learn something, there are plenty of YouTubers that uh, that are much better, but I am going to try my best to get better. Anyway, feel free to join our Discord as well. It's uh, kind of awesome over there. And uh, yeah, I hope I'll see you. Until next time. Bye-bye.